Good day. I'm Scott Mueller with SJ Hardware USA and today I wanted to make a short video about how to adjust spring length, magazine spring length, when you're installing an extension on your shotgun. Our extension kits come with a magazine extension, they come with a spring, a follower, a sling plate, and a split ring to help hold the sling plate to the extension. The springs that we include in our sets in most cases are long springs. We're not sure how long you need that spring. You need to do a little bit of fitting to that spring to make it work with your particular application. We're not 100% sure what model shotgun you're using it in. Um, so we give you the leeway to give yourself a custom fit magazine extension. I'm gonna to describe to you a little bit how to do that today. So what I have here is a Mossberg 590. It's a part number 50778. It's a very popular Mossberg shotgun right now. It comes with a factory six shot magazine tube. So when we add this extension, we're gonna turn it into a seven shot magazine tube, okay? Now I've done enough installs on this shotgun to know that a good length to cut the spring at is 23 inches. So you just need to take a tape measure, measure out 23 inches, and then cut the spring using a wire cutter, a little side cutter wire cutter. Then what I like to do is take a, this happens to be a channel lock pliers, I like to bend the tip down of the cut, and then I grab it like this, and then kind of curl it inward a little bit to give more of a finished end uh, on the end that you cut. Now the springs we're packaging right now are 45 inches long. So you essentially get two springs. You could get two springs out of the one that's in this package. You're basically cutting it almost in the middle. But be sure to uh, go ahead and measure and uh, give yourself 23 inches on the spring, okay? Then we're gonna put the follower in the tube. There's already a follower in this shotgun tube. We're gonna run the magazine spring down here. If I could put it in here. Then we're gonna grab the extension, capture the end of the spring with the extension, and get it started on the magazine tube. Okay, so I have the follower and the 23 inch spring in here. Now I'm gonna test the capacity with these A-Zoom snap caps. These are um, pr uh, proving cartridges to make sure you get the capacity you need. You should always be using some snap caps like this to test what you're doing to the shotgun. You shouldn't use live ammunition for this part. So use these snap caps, very important. So let's see if I can get seven in there. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven and the seventh one you got to push it in there a little bit because the spring has to nest but yeah i got seven in there and there's probably a quarter inch of movement in there so i can move the stack of shells now back and forth about a quarter inch so it's i'm at full capacity okay then we could put one in the chamber by pressing the release button and putting one in the chamber and then if you wanted to put another one in there you, you could put this in here and then you're up to a total of capacity of eight in this shotgun, okay? So, and then you would want to action cycle this and test this to make sure all the rounds went through the action just fine. Um, so again, I know with this shotgun, this model, 23 inches is a good length. Um, other shotguns, you're going to have to vary it. For example, if you buy an extension for a Remington 870, a plus one, they only have a magazine tube from the factory that holds four. So when you put a plus one on there, you're getting it only to go up to five. And you're gonna need a spring much shorter than 23 inches for that particular application. So again, you're gonna to have to try it and then prove it using these uh, snap caps to see if it works well. Um, if, if you can't quite get to full capacity, then you're gonna to have to remove the spring and maybe snip off three more coils. Snip off three more coils of that spring and then try it again. But you have to kind of go through a process um, to make it fit. Um, sometimes people contact me as well and say that they can get full capacity with the snap caps, but they can't get full capacity with the shells they're using. And that's because 
Many shells are different lengths as they're made in the factory. And I got some here to show you. Um, I measured all of them. So we're going to start with these first two. These are Rio Buckshot, Rio brand Buckshot. And when they're crimped like this, they have a roll crimp on them. They're two and a half inches long, which is very long. This is the longest Buckshot shell I've measured, two and a half inches. The snap caps are only two and five sixteen inches, five sixteenth of an inch long. So these are about an eighth of an inch longer than that. Um, so again, you may not be able to get seven of these shells in the tube because these shells are much longer than a typical two and three quarter inch shot shell. Okay. Now here I have a Federal True Ball slug. This is two and five sixteenths. A Brennecke KO slug, two and five sixteenths. We got a Remington Slugger rifled slug, two and five sixteenths. We got some Federal double aught buck, up some premium buckshot from Federal. These are actually two and three eighths of an inch long. Uh, this is Remington buckshot, I get back to two and five sixteenths. And then this is my favorite buckshot load. It's a Fiocchi plated low recoil buckshot, two and five sixteenths as well. So with any of these shells that are as long as the, the snap caps, you're going to get full capacity in there. You would not be getting full capacity with those Rio shells. These are just way outside of what's considered normal. And uh, just as a shotgun user, you have to be aware that all shells are not the same length and you may get some varied capacity. But if you fit the spring correctly, you're going to be able to get full capacity with most shells. So I just wanted to explain that to you. So. If you have any questions, go ahead and give me a call. Um, send me an email at scott at sjhardware.us. I'll be happy to answer that. But again, um, we build the best extensions in the business, and I appreciate you watching. Thank you.